All right, so today I want to go over a Leia red deck. Uh, kind of one of the first decks I made. It seems like a pretty standard deck going forward. I haven't dug too super deep into the meta or anything, but it seems like Hero Aggro is uh, pretty solid. I know a lot of people play Sabine Green because you could take uh, ECL as your base, which is Energy uh, Conversion Lab, I believe, and it, essentially it's a 25 health, health base with an, ep with an epic action that says you can ambush a unit in that costs five or less. Uh, play a unit with ambush essentially. So I know a lot of people run that and have a uh, pretty good success. Uh, I I kind of just drifted toward Leia instead. I, I like the action cheating. So Leia is a uh, action exhaust attack with a rebel unit. Then you may attack with another rebel unit. I just kind of found that uh, pretty pretty unique for this game. There's not a whole lot of action cheating that I've seen yet. Uh, there might be to come, but I know that was a big thing in Star Wars Destiny, so I, I wanted to see how it worked in this game, and I, I made made a quick mock-up of like a deck similar to this, eventually got some more cards, made this. Now, the only thing I'm missing here is a third red three. I just personally don't own one. If you do own one, I would highly suggest fitting that in. Uh, also, even a U-Wing replacement. I only have two in here. It's debatable. You might want to put your third in a side deck, but you could have three in there. But essentially what this deck is doing is playing a plethora of rebel characters, and uh, swinging with them as fast as you can, going pretty much all to base uh, and killing some sentinels and maybe doing some small trades along the way. So I want to break down a few of the key cards here that we really need and a few of the key strategies that we really need. But uh, I'll go through and I'll start with Leia. So she obviously is, uh, like I said, action cheating. But when she comes out uh, with her epic action on turn five, she's a three six with raid one and still has the same ability. So when she attacks, she can you can attack with another rebel unit, which is great. So that all combos with rebel assault. Rebel assault is a attack with a rebel unit. It gets plus one, plus zero for this attack, and then you can attack with another rebel unit, and that rebel unit also gets plus one plus zero for this attack. So essentially, you can boost the damage of two rebels. But if you combo that with Leia, you could in one action. Rebel Assault, use Leia. Leia will trigger someone else to attack, and then Rebel Assault has its second action, which or second uh, sentence, which would cause another attack to go off. So you could attack with three units at once. So the big play here is kind of using Rebel Assault with Leia, having two other things on the board after you like claim the initiative for the last turn, and just swinging a, a massive attack. Uh, you just want to swing for as much as you possibly can, as much damage as you can get out, and just kind of blast the base. And, and you know... Typically 12 to 17 damage or so if you have three units out. It could be more, it could be less. Uh, and it's really, really strong combo. That's really what you're looking for. Early game, we're kind of rocking uh, a lot of early game here. So if you just look at our two and three drops, just the units for now. We're doing Battlefield Marine, just a solid stat. Mon Mothma, who will help us dig and get more cards. Since we're so low costed, we need uh, a little bit of extra help to fill our hand back up. And sometimes I'll stay at five resources the whole game. I mean, honestly, I have done that plenty of times, but most of the time you go to six or seven. Uh, and then I have Green Squadron A-Wing, Sabine Wren, Alliance X-Wing, Rebel Pathfinder for the Saboteur, which is nice. And that's just two drops, so it's a ton of two drops compared to your standard deck, right? Unit-wise, that is uh, six times three, so 18 two drops is a lot. Uh, and then moving on to three drops, we got Red 3, uh, Fighters for Freedom, which will have a, a ping effect. Uh, I'm using for a cause I believe in, which is essentially an event that you reveal the top four cards of your deck, and for every hero card, you can deal uh, damage to an opponent's base. So I'm using that. Uh, this whole deck is all hero cards, if, you, if you've noticed, so that will be a guaranteed extra damage to the base. That's the reason I'm not using like two tubes and uh, the Rebel Saboteur guy, or the uh, Rebel, I forget his name, but he's like a 1 4 with uh, a special ability of, you know, if you have another red unit, etc. Uh, so I don't have a ton of red units to like make uh, Fighters for Freedom that amazing, but still a 3 4 is really good stats and it has Saboteur and it has the bonus that you can ping some damage when you play like K2SO or Red 3 later. Uh, but three drop wise, sorry, I got distracted. Fighters for Freedom, Red 3, Fleet Lieutenant, and Wing Leader. So. Uh, Fleet Lieutenant will just also expedite. You want to go quick. You want to claim the initiative in this deck almost every turn so you can swing with your best open attack at the beginning of every turn. And typically that will be a Rebel Assault big attack on, on the most important turn. But even outside of that, it'll just be a unit that you know is about to die. You can get a big attack through, which is great. Wing Leader is really, really underrated in this. I think he's uh, he actually is super solid for this deck. Giving plus two, plus two, or two experience tokens to another Rebel unit is key because it'll a lot of times just let your uh, unit that possibly could die off of uh, a different attack or a different, you know, force choke, etc. Stay alive 
obviously also dealing two additional damage. But it's another unit in space. So you have a decent threat in space with the A-Wing, Red 3, X-Wing, and the Wing Leader, which is all good. And then you obviously have a lot more on the ground. To finish out the deck, we got K2SO and General Dodana at, as four cost. Uh, you don't Dodana. Some people find as a little slow. I think he's solid. Uh, if you drop him on four and then attack with all your stuff, you can deal a bunch of damage. The problem is, a lot of times you kind of don't have the opportunity to drop a character before you have to attack because they're going to be quickly trading into your units. So he does find himself in a little bit of a weird spot. But I still think he's worth two slots in this deck because you can you can essentially get a lot of extra damage from him. Plus, he's a 4-4 four, four anyway. He's got good stats. Uh, K2SO is a must. Overwhelm is great. If you have to trade into a Sentinel, you can get a little bit of damage through. Plus, when he gets defeated, you can deal three damage to the enemy base. Amazing. The Gorilla Attack Pod is your big finisher if you need one. A 4-6, and if their base has 15, if uh, any base has 15 or more damage on it, this comes in ready, and it's a 4-6, so anything that comes in ready is super clutch. Uh, and then U-Wing Replacement is, you know, a search the top 10 cards of your deck and play units that, uh, play up to 3 units that equal the cost of 7 or less, essentially. So that'll just help you refresh your board uh, if, you, if you get to the point where you're at 7 resources. Um, that's kind of your bailout situation. You, you want to win around turn 6 or 7, uh, maybe not be playing wing replacement on seven all the time, but it is a really good bailout card here. Uh, so like I said, red three is the big thing that I would include in this deck. Um, outside of that, I'm pretty happy with everything else. For events, really, really light on events. We got four calls I believe in. We went over that. Rebel Assault. Metal Ceremony, because it costs zero, and you're going to be using most of your mana or resources on units. Metal Ceremony is really good to be able to uh, give a few experience tokens out on the board, which is great. Uh, and more than a few. I mean, if you attacked with three things, you can Metal Ceremony and give all three plus one plus one. So a really good play is Rebel Assault, and your next action after you attacked with three things, including Leia, is to give all of them an experience token. That's a, a huge play in this deck. And then something I just added that I'm playing with is Heroic Sacrifice. It's a one cost, uh, but it's draw a card, which, like I said, with Mon Mothma, card draw is super advantageous in this deck. You really do need it um, because we just don't have – we have very low cost things. Our curve is super on the low side, so we're going to burn out. But it's draw a card, attack with a unit, uh, and for this attack it gets plus two and gains when this unit is dealt combat damage, defeat it – or sorry, when this unit deals combat damage. So essentially what that will do for you is – You'll be able to attack with something and it'll die after the fact, but it obviously it has K2SO on it, so the synergy there is amazing. K2SO would get plus two attack. He would be a six. He has Overwhelm, so that damage is already going to go through to the uh, base if you're not attacking the base in the first place. Then he will die and you will get to deal his ability with just three more damage to the base as well as draw a card. Really good synergy there across the board. Uh, I haven't really worked on sideboard yet, haven't gone to events, uh, but what I would say is if you're facing, you know, we have a couple saboteur things, but if you're facing like heavy, heavy sentinel decks, you could play the spec force trooper who, uh, when played, you can make somebody not have a sentinel for the turn, uh, or you could play precision fire, which is give it a trooper saboteur and plus two attack, so that, that's always great as well. Uh, those are my two first thoughts. I mean, of course, you could put an extra heroic sacrifice and U-wing reinforcement and kind of shift the deck. If you think you're you're beaten that your opponent quick enough, you could take out U-wing reinforcement and load up on earlier stuff. Uh, you could take out Dodonna if it's too slow to go faster. Uh, so there's a few different little things. Um, overall, I think it's a really, really solid deck. Uh, I haven't played a whole lot of Green Bean, as people are calling it, but Green Sabine, I haven't played a ton of it. I know it was a little bit more present in the most recent large tournament that we have, but, you know, it's one tournament. You can't take that data for everything. Uh, I think this is a really, really solid deck. And beyond that, I think it's pretty damn budget-friendly. I mean, you, you got uh, U-Wing Reinforcement as a rare for a cause I believe in as a rare and K2SO as a rare, and I think that's it. Uh, I think Heroic Sacrifice, since I just added that, that is also a rare. But outside of that, that's it. No legendaries in the deck, so that keeps it pretty cheap. Uh, K2SO and For Cause I Believe In have gone up in price, so they are a little bit pricey. Uh, but still, I mean, overall, super good budget deck. I mean, it's it's cheap. It it's You could even take out Heroic Sacrifice. You could take out For a Cause I Believe In, and instead of going that heroism, like the hero side, you could add in some cards that don't have the light side faction, and it would still be good. So if you really don't have K2SO or Red 3 or For a Cause I Believe In, etc., 
Um, oh, red three is another rare, yes. But you could take out e easily any of those and kind of slot in some more of the generic red cards. Uh, kind of go into the Fighters for Freedom uh, strategy here, and it would still be a really good deck with Tubes and uh, the other guy who eludes my my memory, the 1-4, who, uh, who gets a bunch of extra raid out. So any of those are really good options. I would consider this a pretty dang good uh, budget deck. Uh, beside that, if you, if you can run a version this souped up, I think it's just a pretty dang good deck. It, it's fast, uh, it hits really, really hard, and Rebel Assault on turn 5-6 with layout on the board is a huge damage swing like I haven't seen in this game yet. It's it's a lot, a lot of damage very fast. So if you guys are uh, interested in trying it out, uh, I'll leave the link to my uh, SwooDB uh list here so you could uh, check it out make the list let me know what you guys think any tweaks that you make let me know i mean i, I think it's pretty solid but i would love to hear what tweaks you guys are making because i want to i want to play with it and refine it a little bit more as we go and probably take it to a few events so let me know what you think uh and obviously just leave it leave those thoughts in the comments leave a subscription to the channel so you can uh keep tuning back in for some more content and as always